Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Virgo, this is Shah, and this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of August and the first card you've got is the Queen of Pentacles she represents Virgo foremost uh, uh, above all earth signs but don't forget Capricorn and Taurus she has green fingers she also stands for fertility um, because um, the ground is fertile because uh, she is a woman and she also stands for mother nature so you could be finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions she also sows seeds and she knows what she sows and so therefore she nurtures it and it will grow and flourish and come to fruition and then she harvests what she has sown so if you have sown seeds with a specific idea and been waiting for this idea to materialize because you've been nurturing it then it might come to fruition um, now between now and the end of uh, September around the 20th of September because then we are going in to Libra and August September is the harvest time okay the second card you have is the seven of bows that's the seven of um, swords so um, it says here clearance clearance um, you might be clearing out stuff or somebody might have left sneakily or done some somebody might have done something sneakily if it wasn't you okay that's the seven of swords but because this is the sort of pagan earthly deck I oh and you've got the Queen of Pentacles I see more into this than just the tarot cards you've got all kinds of tools the axe the bows the wands and so you might be um, harvesting somebody something now and clearing the ground for the new okay because that's what farmers do farmers they uh, harvest like the Queen of Pentacles and they clear the ground make the ground ready again Mother Earth to sow the next crop where there is an ending if you're going to harvest that's an ending there is a new beginning so you are clearing away the old to make room for the new like I said you might be finding out you're pregnant or meeting a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus but they will be a nurturing type whether it's a female or a male if it is a male it could he will have a nurturing side to him okay and so um, the and the seven of bows it could have been a Virgo that was sneaky behind your back and he was clearing away and leaving you behind and started something new but it seems it's not working out I think you are clear clearing the ground and old feelings old memories to make new room for the new and the Queen of Pentacles knows that what you sow you shall reap and she has sown what she wants back into her life because she's mother nature she represents mother nature she nurtures loves takes tender, ten, tender care of things and she will see it return because she will only invest in something like her husband that she can nurture and love so you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant 
then take precautions. Midweek, you have the Nine of Swords. You might be worried. Well, give it to the Divine and the Angels, and you'll have a good sleep, night's sleep, so that you can feel rejuvenated to begin this new phase. Because the Queen of Pentacles does mean a new face. You have the Seven of Stones talking about sowing and reaping. Here somebody is healing somebody, okay? The Green Woman, and the Green Woman is the Empress, um, or the High Priestess, but she also represents Mother Earth. That's why she's called the Green Woman, is healing this man. And the word also says healing on the card. But in the traditional tarot, the Seven of Stones is the Seven of Pentacles. So you, um, what you sow, you shall reap. And that is verberating the Queen. And you've got two sevens, lucky numbers, be lying beside each other. So the angels are showing, don't worry, there is an end. Where there is an end, there is a new beginning, we've got your back. You've got two lucky numbers. And actually, 7-7 seven, seven is also a double number, which is lucky. You have victory. Since you've got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands means you are the victor. You've got victory. Public recognition, recognition from the community, and they are celebrating their hero or heroine. You're moving onwards and upwards. You've left, left the old. You've cleared the ground for new to come in, and you are being seen. You are the star. You're moving on onwards and upwards. You might be moving home. You might be changing job. This doesn't have to uh, be um, just um, moving home. You or you could move your business. Okay. But luck is on your side in victory. You could also be going on holiday. Now you are you could be travelling, it could be short distance or long distance. If you've had your eye on a car, because in the old days the horse was used, so now we call the car uh, automated horsepower. So you if you've had your eye on a car, um it could be yours if you so wish. Now you've got the hooded man, and the hooded man is the old wise man, the hermit in the tarot. Okay, a nine coming to an end, and he also represents Virgo. Whoa, so you've got two Virgos here. Hee <laughs> hee! Ah, I wonder for who that resonates. Sorry, just drinking some water. So, if uh, this resonates with you about the Virgo, then let me know in the de uh, reactions below. Um, it is very hot w weather here, so I need to uh, get some fluid uh, w within me because I get a dry voice. So I'm sorry if you hear blah 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 blah. Anyway, coming back to the hooded man, take time out to meditate and contemplate. If you don't meditate, contemplate and evaluate in both cases. If you evaluate, then you know which step to take. The neck, uh, the neck. You know which step to take. He also has the lantern that shows a light on his path, so that he knows where he is going. Okay. The ever burning light. Know that the divine light is with you, and the angels and the divine. You're never alone, and he knows that because he's also a spiritual man. Perhaps it's time to be a little bit more spiritual, or be withdrawn and um, see what step you want, wish to take next. But remember, this could be a spiritual journey, um, it's lying underneath the journey card, but it could also be a physical journey. Um, the hermit is always journeying. 
but it takes time out to throw away things that are of no use to him and he knows that he's gained knowledge whether he's been looking in books or not and in our case books computers television you have gained knowledge on your life's path and not only knowledge but also life experience and please put it to good use by sharing it with third parties children grown-ups you could be a teacher and sharing your knowledge and life experience this is Friday and now we're at the weekend and here we are we've got the card of transformation death it looks gloom and doom but don't worry this does not mean a physical death you could be meeting Scorpio as the death card um, means Scorpio but now because we've got Virgo here we haven't got uh, Libra here but otherwise it would be a three month situation but something could be happening in September or at the end of uh, October um, beginning of November in Scorpio time okay new beginnings leaving the end leaving useless things behind cutting away from the past look at that scythe it's a little bit like the scythe in the Lenamon. And moving on, you are no longer the caterpillar, you are the butterfly. Beautiful. You are just as beautiful as the green woman, the Empress Mother Earth. She also stands for fertility, birth of a child or a project, growth, blossoming and harvesting. So what you have sown, you shall reap. This is a lot like the seven of stones and Mother Earth. So there is new growth, new birth, something in the ground is fertile for you to go out there and bloom. That is what I'm seeing. You are picking up the harvest. Boom. Really nice. Now the angel feather that you have is the red angel feather and the red is also the color of the secretal chakra. So remember that is also fertility because the secretal chakra also in around that area we find the uterus. That is where babies are carried and it says take action now yes if you would like to get pregnant because the ground is fertile then take action have passion it is after all summer enjoy these um, romantic hot smooth smoothie beautiful music glass of wine evenings outside with your loved one I definitely think Virgo there are going to be some births or pregnancies definitely because Mother Earth is here the Green Woman the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles and the uh, Seven of Pentacles okay now the Empress does represent uh, the Empress uh, the Empress represents Libra and I said we don't have Libra but I thank goodness I took the second look so we have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. So in the, those months definitely from now and until the end of October around the 20th, 21st, this is a fertile time for you Virgo. And take action. So go and enjoy yourself I would say. Sow, uh, sow the seeds and start l nurturing them so they grow so within the next three months they will be ready to harvest because harvest time is at the end of September from now till the end of September uh, perhaps the next two weeks in October if we have a, um, a warm October and the atmosphere is or the environment is changing and remember it is nine weeks to a birth 
so you might be uh, here, uh, getting, uh, if you have a dog or a cat, they might be pregnant and be giving birth. Okay, it, if it's not you or a, 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 um, a project. And you might find out that you are getting pregnant in the next three to four months. Okay. You, you are taking time out, so you're relaxing more, so things will happen much more naturally and easily because the ground is very, very fertile. The angels advise you that a project or idea that you have been working on is finally nearing to the point of transformation. We have the card of transformation as well here. Wow. So if you're not pregnant and you want to get pregnant, here is the transformational period to getting pregnant. Right. I would say wear red, orangey red, right? Because that's the secretal chakra. Meditate on that secretal chakra or contemplate like the hermit. Awesome. The red angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of positive action. The angels are assisting you by elevating your energy levels so that you do not burn out. Have confidence and courage that this project or idea will bring you great joy. You have immense willpower which will enable you to carry out this assignment and the angels support you fully in your venture. Whoa! So, just remember the angels have heard your prayers. A project or a wish will be fulfilled. Don't have any sleepless nights about it. Give it over to them. You will be getting news. Number one, new beginning. Again, beautiful new beginning. You might get a visitor or you will go and visit somebody else. Heaven and earth are connected because you've got the rainbow. Has a, heaven has heard your prayers. The nine of hearts, which is the nine of cups, which is your wish card. There you go, Virgo. Your long uh, long awaited wish is coming to fruition. Remember, it is divine timing and not masculine timing. So stay with the program, don't over focus on it, relax, and then things happen much more naturally and freely, like it should. Enjoy the time in relaxation. If you are on holiday, you might just come back pregnant. Who knows? Because when you force things and you want things too much, then it doesn't work. Been there, done that, boom. And I've got two beautiful children. Just give up, let it go, give it to the angels and the divine, and it will happen. I will carry your wish in my healings and my meditations and prayer. So set the intention to receive if you wish to get pregnant and let me know if you do in the reactions or privately. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Not only that, but if you are at home and you would like to uh, have something to watch or drift on, then join the meditations uh, on um, online well-being mind body spirit fair on the 2nd of august on facebook i will leave a link below and i will be going live tomorrow uh, on that uh, live event twice once in the afternoon at um, 12 40 british standard time and uh, they are going all day or nearly all day from 11 uh, o'clock to 7 o'clock British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Time. Okay, and I will be going live at 12.40 British Standard Time and 6.20 UK um, 
uh, in the evening at 6.20 till 7pm. Okay, take care and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful holiday if you are away. Come back safely. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.